the two most high profile of the five convicted killers tried to explain why they did what they did on the night of June 20th, 2018. But the judge wasn't having any of it. He called them excuses and he sentenced all of them to the possibility of life, one of them, life without parole. They have what they deserve. They are paying now the consequence what they did. Leandra Felice, the mother of 15-year-old Lissandro Jr. Guzman Felice, made a victim impact statement along with Jr.'s father before five convicted gang members received stiff sentences for the teen's fatal chase and stabbing outside of Bronx Bodega. <laughs> The mother of Antonio Rodriguez started screaming after he was sentenced to 25 years to life, along with Elvin Garcia and Jose Muniz. Only Junaiki Martinez Estrella, who inflicted Junior's fatal neck wound, received life without parole. The youngest killer, 19 year old Manuel Rivera, got 23 to life. It sends a strong message that the city is tough on crime, that you can't join a gang and hurt people the same way. Jose Muniz, who wielded a machete that night, said he did not intend to kill and used the flat side of the blade so he didn't badly hurt Junior. He asked for forgiveness, even as he claimed Junior was at the scene of a shooting two nights before when a Muniz friend was shot near the eye. Muniz said that was the motive to target Junior on June 20th, 2018. Yet the office of Bronx District Attorney Darcel Clark successfully argued the actions of all five contributed to the murder. <laughs> Junior's mom defended her son. He was no can members. He was a good kid. Junior's parents took pains to state in court that he was an active member of the Explorer's police program at the time of his death. That's something the defense had tried to refute. Reporting from Bronx Supreme Court, I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.